Hello, um, everyone. Um, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining um, this webinar um, on the subject of marriages and non-marriages, um, or to use the uh, more appropriate term, non-qualifying ceremonies, um, following the Court of Appeals decision in Akhtar and Khan. Uh, I'm Jennifer Lee from Pump Court Chambers in London. Uh, I'm a family law uh, barrister specializing predominantly in financial remedies cases. Uh, and I have the uh, very great pleasure uh, today of speaking alongside uh, Jolene Hutchison, um, uh, who is a partner at IBB Law. Um, Jolene uh, is a highly experienced uh, family law solicitor uh, who is uh, ranked in the directories and spheres uh, 500 um, and whose expertise, uh, I'm sure Jolene uh, will not mind me saying this, covers a range of family matters uh, with um, an emphasis on complex and high net worth financial cases. Um, Thanks for that introduction, Jennifer. I'm delighted that you asked me to join you. Well, I'm very grateful indeed. Um, uh, we mentioned uh, a moment ago the um, Court of Appeal uh, decision um, in Akhtar and Khan. Uh, and um, uh, I wanted to just highlight also that um, Clearly, the Court of Appeal decision is going to be a focus point. Uh, but, of course, the case was first decided in the High Court by Mr. Justice Williams, uh, whose uh, photograph uh, appears on the slide. Uh, but before um, I delve into the respective High Court uh, and Court of Appeal decisions, um, Jolene, I, I wonder whether you could uh, expand on why uh, you and I felt it was important um, to discuss uh, this topic of marriages and non-marriages. Yes, Jennifer. The Court of Appeal decision was handed down in February of this year and shortly after the COVID pandemic um, came into the fore. And so the concern between the pair of us was that this could get forgotten about. So the seminar was decided on the basis that we would raise awareness and bring this topic to, back to the fore as it was when it occurred in February. Yes, well, absolutely. Um, and um, if I could begin, I think, before we um, move on to talk about the implications uh, and some very grave implications uh, arising from Akhtar and Khan, um, if I could begin firstly with um, just describing um, very quickly the legal framework uh, 